We're getting closer to the castle and on our way we can see so many olive trees. One thing I've always liked is how they have the rocks with the green grass and they have kind of tiers here like sections with the olive trees uh, with green grass. I don't know why I like it, just kind of one of those things. I like green grass, I like rocks and when you put them together in a nice way, I don't know. As you can see here, someone takes care of it. See how they have the all the rocks removed, all the olive trees. Just imagine yourself having a picnic here. Some olive wine. Do they have olive wine? Olive oil. Julia is down there checking out a spot to take a picture. So if you don't follow us on Instagram, Torres Journeys is where you can find us. And up there is the castle. If you look, you can see somebody. I'm not going to zoom in because it always distort. But you can see someone up there. So actually, shucks. <laughs> actually here you can see one of the olives. And I'm not an olive expert. And so I don't know if you can eat them, if there's different types. And quite honestly, we're not really near, you know, civilization like that. 
So I'm not going to try and uh, all of a sudden need civilization, but uh, it's smaller. So all over the floor. Right there you can see one of the markings. So we'll probably get done taking our picture and then walk this way. Here's some of the backyards. Those homes here. It's nice to listen to the water. All right, now we're back on the path. back you can start to see the castle up on the hill so here we came across a ancient ruin you can see what the building originally looked like and you can see the carved arch over here so it looks like it was built in the 13th century rebuilt and then here we are again All right, now we're gonna go and turn around and go up to the castle and take some pictures and some more video that we didn't get yesterday because our camera was dying. 